<clears throat> Top of the morning, evening, night or day, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking here today on behalf of Santos Creative Network, bringing you another episode of the Rock and Roll Life. In today's episode, we are reviewing a sleeping bag that is comfortable in cold temperatures and van life. So if this sounds right up your alley, don't forget to stay up until the very end. In the meantime, the following video is for subscribe devices only. So if you'd like to proceed beyond this point, you know what to do. This is your captain with the end of intermission. I hope that you kick back and relax. Let's hop onto the van. Welcome to the van ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you've enjoyed that short introduction and that you found a comfortable place to sit here in the studio. In my last video we covered a trekking pillow made by 4Class and I'm going to leave this pillow here so you can remember it throughout this video. If you want to see my face more than once today, you can! In today's video, we're covering a sleeping bag made by Quechua. You can pick up this product at the Catalan at the time of recording this video. This product cost me 40 euros. Without any delays, I'm just going to bring it up here so you guys can see it. Now, I don't recommend this bag for people who are camping and are very conscious about how much weight they bring and how much space their items take individually in their backpack because the truth is this backpack is humongous man it's got all the information that you want to know here in the bottom but that's not the reason why you tuned into this video to read information you tuned in so i could tell you this sleeping bag is made from organic cotton which if you're environmentally friendly this is a product that you can feel good about using. This sleeping bag is huge because it's two meters long and it's made to make you comfortable in temperatures around 10 degrees. So it's going to be thicker than most sleeping bags anyway. I'm going to get it out of the bag so you guys can have a good look at it. The following product comes in two colors. It comes in blue, which is the option that we have here. And it comes in brown, which is also an option. Okay guys, so I've rolled out the sleeping bag and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a look around. The sleeping bag is quite long. It's got two meters in length. It's got 80 centimeters in width or 32 inches if you don't use the metric system. The sleeping bag is very well built in my opinion. These zips that you see here, they're bigger than most zips that you find in sleeping bags, which is great because you can just basically use them like this and feel comfortable that you're not going to damage your sleeping bag. I like my products to be well built and zips are important. So here at the top, we basically have this nice little fold up, which you can use to basically just fold up your bag like this and put a pillow here. Here on the bottom, we've got something which says the temperature in which you can use uh, this sleeping bag comfortably, which is 10 degrees. The brand, which is Quechua, and a happy little quote to make you feel good about yourself. Guys, I wouldn't recommend a sleeping bag to people who are camping just because of the size and weight of this thing. I would recommend the sleeping bag for people who are glamping and for people who are living van life because you don't have to carry your things as much or if you do carry them, you probably have a car which you can just bring everything and not really care about the weight. As opposed to backpackers which are probably on foot, bicycles, motorcycles, whatever your form of transportation is, it doesn't really matter. Basically, they're gonna be using a backpack and having something this big would occupy a lot of space, which means that you have to ditch items which could be potentially valuable. So I wouldn't recommend this sleeping bag for this kind of people. I would recommend this sleeping bag for these kind of people who are a little bit more interested in comfort. On that note, there's two features that I'd like to mention that this sleeping bag has got. You can create a really nice blanket from this sleeping bag. All you have to do is unzip the whole thing here. And as you see, this basically opens up quite wide and it's got 160 centimeters worth of uh, width. 
The second feature that I'd like to mention is if you've got someone with the same sleeping bag, for example, your partner, what you can do is you can basically attach both sleeping bags together. And now instead of having a sleeping bag that's really comfortable for one person, you have a sleeping bag that's really comfortable for two people. And I think that is a great touch because if you're van lifing, it's nice to have a comfortable sleeping bag. If you've got sheets, you gotta wash them more regularly than sleeping bags. Sleeping bags basically have materials. They don't have to go through wash as frequently. If I'm sleeping in a bed, I'll probably wash my sheets every single week. As when I'm sleeping in a sleeping bag, I tend to wash my sleeping bag every two to three weeks. That makes things a little bit simpler out on the road. Having a sleeping bag that you can basically share with your partner and unzip when you're not with your partner and still use for whatever you want to do. I think it's really nice because it gives you options. So my experience sleeping in this bag has been really comfortable. I haven't really owned it for very long but the nights that I've spent in here I was really cozy and I was warm because at the moment I'm using the sleeping bag in summertime I don't really feel the need to zip it so I'm just using it as the blanket and it's folded over me and that is nice because it allows me to stay super warm but also to have a little bit of air coming in and refreshing me a little bit overall i'm really happy with the sleeping bag and i would totally recommend it to you guys i'll leave a link in the description so you can check this out and this pretty much brings us to the very end of this video i hope that you are enjoying this series of reviews that i'm making because i really think that these products are useful for people who are into this kind of lifestyle or enjoy camping and i think it's nice to make this information easily available before i go there's something important that i really like to mention the next two videos that i'm about to make together with this one they will show you the most comfortable sleeping setup that i found i'm reviewing each and every one of these items individually because there's so many things that i want to say about them that I don't feel like it would be a fair and accurate representation if I cover them all in one video. So these three videos together, they will make for the most comfortable sleeping setup that I've had here in the Pearl. I thought I'd make this series because I thought most of the videos that I watched reviewing Decathlon products, they kind of sucked in regards to the information that they were delivering and how they were delivering it. So I decided to make this video series for you. On that note, I would invite you to smash the like button, subscribe and share this video with like-minded people. This is not for my own personal pleasure, it's just so the internet knows that these videos have some sort of utility to the real world and they share them with people who might actually enjoy them too. I'm gonna love you and leave you. This is your boy, Logan. Out. Peace.